Yo, what's happening there, everybody? My name is Dan Tanner, and welcome to Tanner So Lit. Man, I'm gonna answer the question in this video, does the Pixel 5 suck? Because over the last week and a half, we've been hearing a couple of bad stories, and one story you hear, the top speaker is muffled because it's behind the screen, and then a whole nother story talking about the screen being separated from the body. <laughs> well, man, on my channel, I never go by hearsay. I experience everything for myself and let the tech do the talking. And if you're a person who ain't that tech savvy, don't worry about it. I got you covered. I always do my reviews and videos so everybody can understand. <sighs> well, all right, everybody. Enough of me yapping. It's time to make it happen. Let's go. Well, okay, okay, okay. First things first, I'm gonna tell you guys the things I'm not feeling about this device. The first thing, there's no headphone jack. Yeah, I know, I know, it's 2020, and true wireless earbuds are the thing now. You know what I'm saying? That's cool and all, I have those. But I also have a bunch of in-ear monitors <laughs> that require the cable. But my happy hey. had one of these laying around. So I thought I was good, right? Uh-uh. This thing doesn't even work. So I had to go on Amazon and order me a dongle. Google, listen, please include a dongle in the box. Man, that would be so lit. You ain't lying. Okay, the second thing I'm not feeling about this phone is the color options. Man, Google only give you two color options. This sort of sage color and sort of black or kind of black or whatever they call it. Yeah, these are two nice colors and everything. But me, myself, and a lot of my subscribers like blue, like red, and like white. Like if they had a white one of these, woo, even a red one. Google, Google. Man, I love this sort of sage, don't get me wrong, but more choices of colors would be absolutely dope. Yeah! And the third thing I'm not feeling about this phone, well, there's nothing else to really not feel about this phone. Man, oh man, oh man. So let's get to the good stuff. Let's go. Now the first thing I'm feeling about the Pixel 5 is its build quality. People, this is the first aluminum built phone that can use fast wireless charging that I've used. That's absolutely dope because a lot of phone companies used to always make the excuse, well, we build our phones out of glass for wireless charging. Aluminum phones, you can't do that. Well, Google said, the hell with y'all. They built an aluminum phone, drilled out a little section in the back or whatever so wireless charging can come through. Absolutely brilliant and absolutely clutch. And people, this is a well put together phone. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Despite the rumors, no gaps, no cracks or anything. This is one uniform body for sure. The next thing that I'm feeling on this phone is the performance, the all around performance. When it comes to call reception, it's crystal clear. I heard everybody that I talked to with no problems or anything, and they heard me very clear as well. When it comes to the UI experience, very swift. I never had to restart the phone for anything. No hiccups, no glitches, no lag. Huh, it's perfect. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And when it comes to playing games on this phone, people, the performance was mad smooth. Didn't drop any frames or anything, man. Very underrated performance on the gaming side. And people, the next thing that I'm liking or loving about this phone has been a thing of controversy the last week or so. The speakers, the clarity of the speakers. Well, I'm about to do this live. I'm about to make a phone call on speakerphone right now so you can hear it for yourself. Here we go. Yeah. Yes, what time do you guys close? 8.30. 8.30? Thanks a lot. Yeah. So what do you guys think about that? Was the speaker loud enough on that call? Did you hear the young lady? And better yet, I'm going to do one more speaker test for you. I'm going to play a beat from Chosen Beats Out Club so we all can hear this together about the speaker performance. Let's get it.
So what do you think about that? <laughs> I'm just saying, the motto of my channel is, I let the tech do the talking. Get up. I show the truth, because the truth will make you free. Yeah, boy! And another thing that I'm feeling about this Pixel 5 is that it has a physical fingerprint sensor on deck. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Because in 2020, we're going through a, a major pandemic, so we all gotta wear a face mask. And face ID and face recognition software just don't work with the mask on. You still have to put in your passcode and this, that, and the other. But a lot of phones have scrapped the fingerprint sensor, and it sucks. So thanks and salute to you, Google, for leaving the fingerprint sensor on your devices, because we need it the most in these days. The next thing that I'm feeling about this phone, people, is the battery performance. Woo! The battery performance on the Pixel 5 is a beast. You're gonna get more than a day's use of battery life on this device. No question about it. I'm a power user. I'm not an insane power user, but I use my phone quite a bit and it lasted me more than a day. Man, I usually have to plug it back up around two o'clock in the afternoon the next day. And to me, that's fantastic. No question about it. And another thing that I'm feeling about this phone, people, is the storage. 128 gigs is way more than enough storage for me. Me, I can go for 64 gigs and use the cloud. So man, for people who need enough room on their phone to store videos, pictures, music and all that, man, the Pixel 5 will definitely handle that with no problem. Well, all right, people, since we're talking about videos and pictures, right? <laughs> the next segment is all about the cameras. Check this out. And as far as the cameras go, on this Pixel 5, people, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than what I usually do. I'm gonna go ahead and do everything handheld and everything because the average consumer is not gonna have a gimbal nor a selfie stick most of the time. So enough of me yapping, <laughs> it's time to make it happen. But I forgot to mention, I'm actually using the Pixel 5 right now. Let's go. Also, I want to do part of this camera test with a mask on because, you know, during these days and times, a lot of us, well, all of us are wearing masks. And sometimes you might want to do a video and narrate the video while wearing a mask. So I'm testing it out right now. Let me know in the comments below how's everything sounding. people when it comes to the layout of the camera's interface it's very very easy to use yes sir yes sir and all the videos and pictures were straight point and shoot there was no color grading no major saturation editing or contrast tweaking or none of that it just came straight from the pixel 5's camera but if you want to tweak your pictures and videos google has put a whole lot of features inside the interface so you can do so with no problem yeah, man, the cameras are pretty lit, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. And people, if you wanna find out more about the Pixel 5, man, subscribe to the channel and also check out my Pixel 5 list. I got case videos and everything in there, no doubt about it. So, to answer the initial question, does the Pixel 5 suck? My answer is no. But there are a few things they can improve on. Like I said, the headphone jack, and also the color selection, and the overall design. Because yes, this is the best looking Pixel so far, but I can't wait to what 2021 has to bring with the Pixel 6. Well, all right, everybody, that just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw, and like what you heard, please give your guy and Google a thumbs up because that's official. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, to feel the swag and madness of Dan Tanner and Team Lit, then do that too, because that's official too. 
All right, everybody, get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. Be easy.